Pwede na kami sir, mga tutok sir. Yung gusto sa taas, pwede na sa taas. Mike, Mike, Mike.
Give me one of the Ito yata, Gatorade yun, soju.
Department. Ito po yung nangyayari ngayon dito sa Santa Ana Hospital. Ito po yung pagdating ng public free sa pakunan. Ayan, masya lang po yung nilalagay sa ating mga free. Hopefully, matapos na ito. Dok, ilang bias po yung natanggap ng Manila for this update? 3,000 bias po. And sino po yung target natin na mabakunahan ng Sputnik? po ang target po natin dito yung po mga A1 medical frontliners ng ating anim na local hospital pati po yung mga national government hospital so, yun. So, hindi po natin sa kanila yung mind at kung papayagan na po tayo ng DOA bigyan tayo ng signal today bukas po magpapakuna na tayo dalawang ating sites So, ito po sa Santa Ana Hospital at saka po sa Hospital ng Manila Medical Center. So, hintay-hintay lang po tayo sa magiging announcement mamaya ng DOA. Okay. Dok, kamusta po ba ang vaccination natin sa medical frontliners natin dito sa city? Ah, so far sa Manila LG at ating mga government, 
nakaka-93% na tayo na nagagawa. So ito, pagkakataon po ito, sa ating po mga ibang mga medical frontliners, baka ito another option, kaya pwede po kayo kung hindi pa kayo nakakapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpap
At doon ang ang deployment mangyari sa Santa Ana at sa hospital ng Manila. For the reason, uh, we just want to do diligence. Kailangan lang namin gawin. Because as you can see kanina, no, medyo meticuloso yung uh, handling. Uh, even the conditioning unit, you know, uh, kailangan para doon sa Gamalaya is good uh, uh, We will continue to follow the necessary uh, uh, protocol in handling the, the vaccine, uh, the Sputnik vaccine. So wala pa sir sa mga vaccination center, yung mga regular natin vaccination center, wala mo sir? Yes, it will ever be, uh, hindi pa, masasama sa regular first dose, second dose vaccination na nagaganap sa lungsod na ang gamit natin yung may sinuba. But there will be an additional vaccination site for this. Uh, tapos, uh, yung isa pang challenge natin is yung pag sa storage facility, i-deploy sa vaccination site, may, may process pa siyang gagawin, which is one hour towing of the program. And we need to vaccinate ASA, one story. So, yun yung mga, kaya kailangan dito, confirm kang darating if you really wanted to get the vaccine. Ang good news naman, uh, ito ay 91.6% uh, efficacy. Sure. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, babalik kami sa unang uh, goal ng gobyerno. Remember when we had uh, uh, Sinovac and Astra, ang um, prioritize is A1. Uh, a few days were given uh, to our medical frontliners. So we will follow the same steps with the new vaccine. Uh, unay natin, A1. So yung mga doctor, nurses, and other medical frontline who are involved in the COVID-19 facility will be given priority. So after a day or two or three uh, na oh, hindi pa rin nag yung ilan, we have to go as low as A3 and A2. Kasi ang uh, isa pa sa mga visa ng Sputnik, uh, this can be made available to 18 years old above. So, you should be bata at matanda. But still, we'll go back to the priority listing, A1, A2, and the A3 is for the 18 years old to 59 or above, na may comorbidity. Ilan naman po ba yung natitira sa A1 na hindi pa po napapagod? Sa Maynila, and sa city government, about a few percent. Uh, for two reasons. One, they don't like uh, the, the particular brand na lumanding sa atin na nauna. Two, hindi ba sa kanila nagka-COVID. So, pero other than that, uh, generally, uh, we can honestly say, kung pagdating sa local government, unit own hospital, and our Manila Health Department, which is yung aming mga health center and base W, halos, uh, uh, safe to say, 95% covered. Okay. Now, we went further. Uh, after that, uh, yung tinulungan din namin, yung effort ng national government, sa kanilang national government hospital, upon the DOAs. Tapos, another level, yung ating naman mga uh, medical frontliner sa private hospital. Then, again, bumaba pa rin kami, doon naman sa mga clinic na involved rin sa mga pasyente. Uh, na, nandito sa may hindi. Well, I'm hoping tomorrow, we're ready to deploy tomorrow. We're, we're ready. Kasi that is our commitment to the people of Manila. Once we have vaccine, we will deploy it. But in this, in the case of Gamalaya Sputnik, uh, within within a few hours now, we will coordinate uh, with DOH kung okay nang to deploy And then we can start because uh, yesterday I informed my director uh, uh, Fox Pangan to coordinate with the six directors of hospital no? at uh, kung sino may gusto magpatalana para magbaba na lang dito magbaba na lang doon kaso ako pa namin hospital pupunta na lang nila sa Tangana at sa hospital ng Manila so we're ready but still then again we continue to follow the uh, 
advice of DOH. Ano yung masabi ng DOH? Hindi pa kayo ang DOH? Hindi ko naman. Uh, Mag-coordinate kami. But you just receive. So, kung okay na sa kanila, then we we'll deploy. Pero naman usually ang ginagawa namin. As you all know, remember, di ba? Nagpakuna sa Manila ang March 1. PGH National Government. Tapos March 2, ginaw na kami ng DOH. Kaya nagpakuna kami ng March 2. So, ano lang, parang repetition of the same process. Parang walang magigaw. Ang marami ito. Pero tayo yung pang Pfizer, as you can see, this one, negative 80, no? Dahil meron din tayo yung pang Damalea, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson. Tapos ito naman sa kaliwa, ito nakikita nyo, AstraZeneca and Sinovac yung mga plus 2, plus 8. So, plus, meron pa tayo yung San Lazaro. Ito yung sabihin, tapat na San Lazaro, na pag-aari ng Manila. Plus, meron pa tayo yung storage facility sa Paranaque. Yun yung bulk. Ito yung regular na pinagamit. So, from the bulk storage facility, babagsak sa Manila COVID-19 storage facility, then, bababa sa uh, deployment sa, sa, sa vaccination site. So, so that's how. Party, yes. Kasi nung nagka-volume kami, nung nagka-volume kami, binigyan kami ng about, uh, I think at one time, binigyan kami ng uh, 60,000 plus. At out of 60,000 plus, 44,000 of it is for second dose. So we reserve that. So we deployed the 22,000 plus. And we do the half of the 22,000, that's 11,000. Yung 11,000 naman, spread. Sa, sa may uh, uh, Manila Health Department storage facility in near San Lazaro Hospital, and this one. Um, Mayor, sabi mo kayo na, of course, you all know, napakay pa natin, napakay safety, napakay safety, at least, napakay safety, 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 napakay which is the city of Manila, na manage naman ng handler o ng logistic company na dumating dito uh, ng maayos. It is now our responsibility because it was turned over to us properly. So that's, uh, that's our challenge. That's actually, that's the challenge of every local government in Manila. Except that uh, we're very happy that we have our own uh, uh, storage facility. Pero, sasabi na po, everything May Allah and Diyos. May Allah and Diyos. We're hoping, we're always hoping for the best. Eh so far naman, since March 2, na nag-deploy ang Maynila, ang Maynila is about 120,000 vaccinated ng first dose. Combined with Sinovac and AstraZeneca. Then combined effort ng DOAs sa National Government Hospital, private hospital deployment, and local government deployment. And yesterday, we have vaccinated combined effort again by three, no? about 54,000 individuals in the city of Manila got already the full dose or the second dose. Mayor, kung sa'yo kumpiyansa ng Manila City, and kanya as mayor, hindi sa spotiki after kasi di ba sa Brazil, may reject po yung uh, plan ng DOAs? Well, sa hawan ng Diyos, may historia, nung unang araw namin, naka-100 spent alam kami. Sumunod 300, sumunod sa bulit. So, nagkaroon ng dati, totoo naman yung ano ng tao, no? Totoo yung uh, ano nila na uh, takot nung una. Pero ngayon, baliktad na. Uh, kinakapos na yung bakuna sa demand ng tao na gusto magpabakuna. Uh, kaya, nalala mo kakon, may dumating kami ng uh, 800, eh ano, 8,400, 8,400. So, itutulog namin, 4,200. In a matter of 6 hours, naubos yung 4,200 na yun. So, malaki ang demand ng, ng tao. So, ibig sabihin, yung kumpiyansa ng tao, unti-unti nang uh, nawawala. Ngayon namin na lumalakas no, yung, yung uh, kumpiyansa ng tao. And I'm hoping for the best. And I think, if they see people getting vaccinated, friends and family, malaking bagay yan as a source na lakas ang loob nila. Sabi kasi sir sa Brazil, they rejected Sputnik V because of supposed lack of quality control and efficacy data as well as little to any information on the shots adverse effects. That doesn't 
Well, they have their own FDA. We have our own FDA. They have their own health ministry. We have our own health ministry. And I continue to believe to F, uh, with FDA. FDA is composed of, you know, people are in their, uh, they're good in their respective field. And we must continue to believe in our system. No? Ganun lang yung atin. Basta kung ano ang naitala ng FDA, oh, ito ay hindi siya ng gobyerno na nagsasabi na ito ay maayos at ligtas at safe gamitin, oh, ngayon, yun na susundin natin. And I respect uh, the opinion of uh, Brazil with regard to what they have found. But so far, our scientists and doctors, specialists in FDA said it's free, uh, it, it's safe, and it's ready to be uh, deployed. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. May po na raw po ang tayo sa general hospital nyo. May red tape po po at uh, bagasyado ang proseso para sa pag-set up ng vaccination sa mga hospital. Reaction daw po. Sino yun? Sino yung vaccination site? Vaccination site nila? Sa hospital po ang nakalagay siya. Oh, hindi amin ng Chinese general. <laughs> It's a private hospital. Ito yung pagbuka doon po yata na ano? Ng? Ng haba masyado ang proseso tapos sa pag-set up na ako. Sa iyo yun eh. Kanila yun. Sa kanila po. Oo. Hindi, we had nothing. Hindi namin sila partner. In fact, may bako may vaccine sila, they they deploy their own vaccine. So sila, ang may problema sa sarili nila. Kasi wala kami vaccination sa Chinese general. Wala kami vaccination. Pagkukuha po sila. Ay, hindi yung age sila kukuha. Hindi naman sila pwede makabili on their own. So far, any vaccine nowadays are coming from national government. Whether bought or through COVAX facility. Kasi dalawang pinagkukuha na natin ngayon. Yung binili ng national government at saka yung COVAX facility. So, I don't know. But, saka paano sila nakakuha ng bakuna? <laughs> you have to ask the U.S. <laughs> uh, tayo, jump pa rin tayo sa community vaccination. Uh, okay.